Now we're going to take a look at the Print Organizer dialog box. The Print Organizer dialog box can be accessed from the File pull-down, File Print Organizer. And once you've got it open, it's a few main uh, sections to it. On the left-hand side, that's where you can add your files and organize your files. The top folder being actually the plot set name or the PSET name. Then on the right-hand side, you can actually go into the individual plot settings for that particular drawing. And your PSET and the print organizer, you can have multiple print styles. So one sheet can be an 8.5 by 11 figure, where the next sheet can actually be 11 by 17. So within one piece set, you can have different print styles um, all stored within one piece set. When uh, opening, creating, and saving a print set, you can do that across the top. There's a bunch of icons for that. So opening a piece set is actually a PSET file that you could open or create a brand new one. And once you create a new one, you just name it and then start adding new files to that uh, print set. Once you've got it all set up the way you want, whether you're changing the print styles or the sizes of the sheets, you can then save that print set, piece set file. Once you're pulling it all together, you can also use some tools to help you organize it. And the first one there is adding prints. So the uh, icon there with a the little plus sign will allow you to add prints to your piece set. And then you can change the print order by using the up, down, first, last arrows here to help you reorder your sheets to make sure that they are printed in the correct order. And then if you need to uh, further organize it, you can use the Create Folders icon, which allows you to maybe create a folder for all your cross sections, another folder for all your details. So it just helps you organize your plot set the way it makes sense to you. So we're gonna go into the uh, Print Styles DGN Library file so that we can actually create it in a DGN library and create a couple of print styles from this, uh, from this drawing. Now we're going to show you how to create that print style in MicroStation. I've got a DGN library file open right now. It's called printstyles.dgnlib. The print styles are preset printing parameters that can be reused with multiple print sets. Like text styles and dimension styles, the individual print styles are stored in the design file itself. So any standard print styles can be saved to a DGN library and shared with multiple users. So from the file pull-down, I'm going to go to my print organizer. From the tools pull-down, we're going to define a print style. And from the define print styles dialog box, I've already got one print style created called PDF B-size gray shade. And we'll just go through the different tabs here and show you what we have. Under the main tab, we can define the area that we're going to be printing. And we've got choices here for fence, sheet, or view. The paper size, ANSI B, landscape, we can choose the different sizes based on what kind of print that we're going to make. The layout, we're going to maximize it. Units are set to inches, uh, no additional rotations to it. The resymbolization, the pen table that we're using. So we want to make sure that we grab the correct pen table for this plot. Under the advanced tab, we have options here for working with workspaces and color options and working with raster images. Under the fence pull-down, we're going to define how we're going to create that fence for printing. If we're going to define it from a shape, maybe fit elements to a range within the design file. Under the display tab is the display settings for printing. Again, this is where we maybe want to turn off our data fields, turn off text nodes, but turn on transparency and turn on fill. So those are pretty standard stuff for us. And then we can always have that defined in our print styles. And lastly, under the printer tab, this is where we actually select the printer driver plot config file that we're going to use for this print style. And again, everything that I've set up in this dialog box is stored in that DGN library that I currently have open.